Middlesbrough was the venue on Boxing Day 1992 as Sheffield Wednesday entertained Manchester United for the first time in the newly formed Premiership. Wednesday were a powerful force and had finished third the previous season, just three points behind second place Manchester United. Owls captain Viv Anderson lined up against his former team. Wednesday were also able to call upon the attacking prowess of David Hurst and Mark Bright up front. Newcomer Ryan Giggs had gained a glowing reputation in his first season of top flight football. His inclusion ahead of defender Mike Phelan was the only change to the team that drew away to Chelsea. United deciding upon a strong attacking lineup for this one. Maverick Frenchman Eric Cantona had just joined the club from Leeds. He'd been inspirational in the Leeds team that had won the title the previous season. Match commentary from John Champion. Boxing day at Hillsborough and a cross pedine rivalry to be played out. Between sides who have given each other problems in recent seasons. Sheffield Wednesday, winners of the League Cup at Manchester United expense some 18 months or so ago. But Manchester United having the better of it in the Premier League this season. Fourth in the table as opposed to Wednesday's 15th. Although Wednesday's win against Queen's Park Rangers last week ended a sequence of seven without a victory. Put them back on something approaching an even keel. Still having ended up in third place last season. Just three points behind Manchester United and seven shy of Leeds. The Owls followers had expected rather better this time around. Here's John Sheridan. Carlton Palmer taking on Inns whose stickability is not in question. <laughs> Just under 38,000 expected today, which would be Hillsborough's biggest crowd of the season so far. Viv Anderson to Chris Waddle. And David Hurst unable to get on the end of the cross the chest of Cantona for McClare. And nearly hooked up successfully a second time. He said it's Chris Woods to clear his lines for Wednesday. And Alf Books, the referee, has given the decision Wednesday's way. Sheridan. Very much the driving force in midfield. And the shot wide from Mark Bright. Peter Schmeichel, such a formidable last line of defence for Manchester United these days. Roland Nielsen. Over the head of Pallister. Inns, only half a clearance. Hurst! Two minutes played. Sheffield Wednesday in front. Lethal finish from David Hurst. And all stemming from the fact that Inns couldn't clear properly. Some price to pay. Hughes. McClare sliding in. Waddle to Palmer. And the Hillsborough faithful are up for this, make no mistake. The early goals really got them G'd up, as it has the team by the looks of it. There's Waddle. Hurst. And Bright, it's two! Two in six minutes! Well, this is a dream coming true for Sheffield Wednesday. Not expected to take anything from this game today. Thunderous challenge coming on Cantona. It's been the nature of the opening ten minutes or so here. 
Hughes. Irwin. Halted by Nielsen. And here's Waddle. There's Bright. And Peter Schmeichel spread himself. Just did enough at the near post. Nigel Worthington's gone across to take this. Back once it came. Hurst going up with Parker. And Bright with the goalkeeper. And in the end, it comes to nothing. Michael's furious, not for the first time and not for the last. He feels that Bright jumped into him rather than leaping fairly for the ball. And there was an arm raised. Hughes, McClare. Whenever Manchester United receive possession, there are Wednesday nights snapping at their heels in the centre of the field. So a contest made for the likes of Palmer and Wilson. In St Manchester United. This is Mark Bright, bearing down on Bruce and Pallister. Well saved by Schmeichel. Sheffield Wednesday, full of vim and vigour. And the struggles of their season so far have been temporarily forgotten. <laughs> Both of these sides have tasted European football this season. Phil Wednesday beaten by Kaiserslautern in the second round of the UEFA Cup. But they got a round further than Manchester United. Torpedoed by Torpedo Moscow in round one, which was a nasty shock to them. Katanar's touch for Giggs. Parker. It's a corner. Right in front of the Hillsborough Cop. Lee Sharp has been given the responsibility of taking it. 21-year-old signed from Torquay. And the player's header somehow kept out by Chris Woods. And whilst it was a good save, it also owed much to the fact that it was straight at him from point-blank range. Cantona. Sharp. Giggs going in, and Worthington just wide of his own post. Pressure beginning to intensify from Manchester United, as you would expect. Trailing by two. Forward comes Pallister. Bruce is on his way up to. Sharp. Over Pallister's head. Once again, Lee Sharp. There's McClare! Hit the underside of the bar and came out again. Well, those are two big warnings for Sheffield Wednesday in quick succession. Both from Brian McClare, the first header saved, second one onto the frame, onto the goalkeeper, and still didn't go in. Hughes. Giggs through the middle, trot on the ball. Instead it's Sheridan for Wednesday. Bryce. Wednesday ball. Manchester United beaten only twice in their last 18 Premier League games. 
So much more solid after losing their opening two fixtures of the season. 13 points from their last five fixtures. They've risen from 10th to 4th. And here's Giggs. And Cantona! Stopped on the line by Peter Shirtliff. And eventually it goes behind. And Hughes and Woods square up to each other. Pace of Giggs proving difficult for Wednesday to cope with. It was also an awkward angle for Cantona. Talking to from Mr. Butch, deemed sufficient. Vibrant atmosphere inside Hillsborough today. All the festivities of yesterday, plenty to get out of the system. There's Hughes. Comes to Cantona. And Sharp! And Manchester United can't say they haven't had chances. Could easily be level by now. It's Pallister's flick that put it into Sharp's path. Parker. Blocked by Danny Wilson. Ince. Irwin. Sharp ahead of him. Infield is Cantona. This is Irwin, though. Maybe Wednesday can break away with Sheridan. Chris Waddle. And he's played in fits and starts since his move from Marseille in the summer. Blights! Well, it was a clever pass by Chris Waddle. Certainly deceived Pallister and McClare. Bright couldn't turn on it meaningfully. Off the head of Shirtliff. Forcing Worthington to scamper back. And this is Ince. Manchester United claiming a corner. And say it came off Shirtliff's heel. Sheffield so Wednesday will go into a huge roar if they can maintain this two goal lead through to half-time, which is not far away now. <laughs> Hurst penalised. Oh, 2-0. Beyond their wildest expectations coming into this game. <laughs> and that is half-time, and there is that... Huge surge of South Yorkshire noise greeting Sheffield Wednesday going in with a 2 0 lead. Alf Butch counting the players on either side. Content it's 11 against 11, and here we go. Manchester United, two down. Here's Ince. Running right at the heart of the Wednesday defence. Bruce. Waddle. Irwin got a piece of it. Here's Sharp. Steered back by Roland Nielsen. Cleared only as far as Ince. It's not a familiar position for Manchester United these days. Two goals behind. They did lose in Sheffield on the opening day of the season. 2 1 at Bramall Lane. There's McClare, and it's Viv Anderson who clears rather hurriedly. The game at Bramall Lane, future the first ever English Premier League goal scored against Manchester United by Brian Dean. Here's Giggs. Carlton Palmer in the way this time. Pallister. 
Cantona's header. Dennis Irwin. Can strike a ball much more sweetly than that, the Irishman. There's the Swede, Nielsen. Forced into conceding a throw by Mark Hughes. Sharp. McClare. David Hurst. And again, David Hurst robbing Lee Sharp. Bouncing off Ince. Right. Hurst. Wilson. Well, you would think that another goal for Wednesday would kill Manchester United off. If United get the next goal, it could be very interesting, though. Worthington. Bruce. Nigel Worthington again. Once more onto the head of Bruce. Here's Waddle. Hasn't scored any great weight of goals since his return from France. Be something extra special to beat Schmeichel from that sort of distance. Anderson. Irwin. Waddle. Nielsen. There's Hurst, and here comes Sheridan. And John Sheridan nips in to make it 3-0. from the Irish international from her sensible nod down Sheridan took it around Bruce and got to it just ahead of Schmeichel Parker blocked by Worthington and that is a corner and Wednesday are going to have to defend in some depth now to protect this lead, healthy though it is. Just under 25 minutes remaining. Sharp will take it. Met powerfully by Palmer. Parker. Sharp. McClare! One back for Manchester United. And from a right-footed cross, a collector's item by Lee Sharp. Wednesday's marking almost non-existent. And before we can restart, off goes Ryan Giggs to be replaced by someone who is every bit as quick, Andre Kanchelskis. Hoping to exploit tired limbs in the Wednesday side. Long clearance by Schmeichel. Up go McLaren Wilson. Kanchelskis, first sign of his pace. And Sharp, straight up Woods. Alec Ferguson has sent on Kanchelskis to try and stretch this Wednesday rear guard.
Hintz. Good contest, him and Palmer today. And they've been intriguing one-on-one -on -one battles right across the pitch. Wednesday won most of them in the first half. Since they pulled one back, Manchester United have been on top. Hughes. McClare. Nice try with the outside of the right boot. Just wouldn't curl enough for him. John Harks. He's done well against Parker. And Parker got himself between Harks and the ball, and in fact it's the American who's been penalised. And off goes Konchelskis for Manchester United. Bruce. Cantona. Sharp away from Nielsen. McClare! Manchester United are back in business. A second for Brian McClare, like the first, created by Lee Sharp. Ten minutes remaining. And now the travelling hordes have hope. Waddle. Offside against David Hurst, and that was very tight. And there's a nervousness about Wednesday now that wasn't evident in the first hour of the game. Remember, they led by three goals to nil. Cantona. Sheridan. For Waddle. David Hurst. Good save by Schmeichel. That was heading in. And Schmeichel got just enough on it to divert it past the post. Disguised pass from Waddle and Hurst using his preferred left foot on target until Schmeichel got part of it. Parker, Leclerc herring forward. There's Cantona. Hughes couldn't turn. And it's pretty desperate stuff out there now particularly from a Wednesday viewpoint because the ball keeps coming straight back at them and here's Sharp Cantona, oh he muffed it second time it's in Eric Cantona makes it 3-3 and now Lee Sharp has set up a hat-trick of goals two for McClare one at the second attempt for Cantona, and Sheffield Wednesday have thrown away a 3-0 lead. Could there be a winner in it for Manchester United? That would be extraordinary. And Sharp has set up three. How much ambition does he have left to set up another? Not so much now. Not with the seconds ticking away. Not with a precious point secured when none had seemed likely. Sharp. Shirtless header. Paul Ince. Woods grateful to fall on it. And there may not be time for much more. That is it. And it finishes level at three goals apiece after Sheffield Wednesday had led 3-0. Two from Eclair, one from Cantona, and it finishes Wednesday 3, Manchester United 3.
It was a remarkable fight back by Manchester United. When the two teams met again later in the season, a dramatic last-minute winner from Steve Bruce was instrumental in guiding them to their first title for 26 years. Sheffield Wednesday finished seventh, their highest ever closing position in the Premier League.